Hello and welcome to this new video. In this video, I want to show you how you can use shared folders in VirtualBox to exchange data between the host system. In our case, it's Windows 10 and Linux. I have a Zuzi Linux installed here and I want to have access from within the virtual machine to my Windows host system. For that, VirtualBox brings a feature called shared folders. Um, to create shared folders, we go into the settings of the virtual machine. Here you can find shared folders and that's the area of the configuration where you can define or set up which folders you'd like to share from the host system with your virtual machine. Okay, we can add a new folder here. We can select a folder path. You can either select a path or a whole drive. That's all possible. In my example, I want to share the whole C drive, the whole hard disk from Windows with my virtual machine. So the folder path is C. The folder name, that's, uh, we, that's a name we need later on for configuration. I just leave it to C underscore drive. We can set it to read only and we can also have it auto mounted every time we power up the machine. Um, so we're going to check this one here. Read only depends on what you want to do with your virtual machine. That's it. We click OK now and this is the first step. The next step is we need to configure the shared folder in Linux. It's not automatically mounted or accessible from Linux. We need to do that manually. So I start up Linux and then we have a look to that. Okay, my Linux system is started and now we open a terminal and enter a series of commands. You don't need to type up all the commands. You can just copy them from our homepage. Just click the link below the video in the video description and then you get to our blog post where you can just copy all the commands I am using here. Okay, let's get started. So let's open a terminal. We have two options how to mount a shared folder in Linux. The first one is the easy approach where we just use the mount command. This is done very easily and we have access to our C drive from Windows. However, after restarting the virtual machine, the connection is lost. So we would need to do that all the time we reboot our Linux system. So the second approach we want to look at is to do a permanent setup for the shared folders. But, but now let's go for the easy approach. The easy approach is first we need to set up a, a folder where we want to mount our C drive, our shared folder in. So I just create a new folder here, mkdir, and let's call it shared. Okay, if I, in my home folder here, I have now the shared folder. And the next thing we use the mount command, mount minus T. Now we need the file system, it's webox.sf. SF stands for shared folders. And then we need our shared folder name. In our case, it's C drive. And then we have to define the folder where we want to mount it in. And that's our shared folder we just created. So password for root. And now our shared folder should be mounted in the shared folder. Let's have a look. CD shared. And as you can see, all my files for my C drive for my Windows system is now or are now accessible. Well, after restart, we would have to do it again, do the mount. So if you want a permanent mount option that is mounted automatically when the system starts, we will have a look to the second approach. So I restart and then we will have a look to that. I have now restarted my virtual machine and if I have a look to my shared folder here, you see it's now completely empty. So after rebooting, the mount is lost, the mounted shared volume is lost. So we want to have a look for a more permanent solution. So we again go to our terminal and the first thing we need to do is to edit our file system tab file. So sudo wim, that's my favorite editor in Linux 
etc fs tab. And this opens my fs tab file. And at the end, I and add a new line where we start with our name of the shared folder. In our case, it's C underscore drive. Then tap. Then we have to define the folder we want to mount our shared folder in. In my case, it's home, DA, and our shared folder. Again, tap. Now we have to enter the file system type. In our case, it's again Webox SF. Tap defaults, tab zero, tab zero, and that's it. Now we have to write and quit, write it to the file. And now we are not ready to go because we defined Vbox SF as our file system type. And in order that it can be mounted during boot, this kernel module must be loaded. And Otherwise, it wouldn't work, it wouldn't mount the volume. So how we do load the kernel module before start. So we have to go to our etc modules minus load dot D folder. And there we have to create a new configuration file. So let's do sudo wim webox sf dot conf. We create a new file and the content of the file is just webox. Oh, gee. Yeah, whim. Webox SF. Okay, that's it. Right and quit. And well, that's it. Now we restart and then we will have a look if the folder, the shared folder, was mounted correctly. I've restarted my virtual machine and as you can see, there's now a shared folder or drive on my desktop which appeared after restart and if i have a look to that now under home my username shared is now my shared folder accessible from within the virtual machine and well that's it that's how you can mount shared folders to exchange data between your windows system and your linux system in virtualbox well that's it Thanks for watching and goodbye.